I literally have the most unprofessional setup right now. You will not believe it. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, all right. So for those of you who haven't noticed, I'm in a new area and I actually moved back on campus to my new apartment. So that's why this video has kind of been lacking. Um, for those of you who don't know, or aren't as immersed in the booktube world, there has been this giant challenge taking place. It's swept over the entire booktube community. So what it is, it's called the Book Buddy-a-thon. It was started by Elena Reads Books and Cold Tea and Crumbs. Um, what it is, is this week, September 7th to the 12th, you'll be able to read with a buddy books that fit five different challenges. Um, for this week, my buddy is actually Shelly. I'm so sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. I think that's how you pronounce it is Shelly. And I will link her channel in the description below. And we decided to do these five challenges together. So here we go. Okay, so the first challenge is to choose three books and have your buddy pick from which book you should read. So my buddy chose The Kitchen House for me to read. Um, what it is, is a story about this girl who comes from Ireland and it's back during this, when slavery was still around. And she actually goes and becomes an Irish slave in like the big house with the master and his wife and the master's illegitimate daughter named Beth. And it's just a story about like class and the different struggles and um, racism and of all that. I have high hopes for this book. I haven't started yet. I have high hopes. I hope it's really good. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for this book. The second challenge is to buddy read a book with your buddy. I don't actually have this book that we're, we chose to buddy read together um, on me right now because I'm still in the middle of unpacking and I'm filming this in a tiny little corner of my room that's actually not super messy. Um, but the book is called Un Wind. It's essentially a story of this kind of like Civil War kind of era of times where you're allowed to bring up children and basically for the purpose of harvesting them for their organs. Um, and it just sounds really good and I'm really excited because me and Shelly were kind of stalking each other on Goodreads and this was like the one book that we had in common that we both wanted to read. So I'm really excited to read this and start. I have the book with me. It's just in one of the mini boxes that I haven't unpacked yet. So it's going to be fun. And the third challenge is, I'll put up the picture of the book again. Um, the third challenge is to read a book with your buddy's favorite color and I asked Shelly over Twitter what her favorite color was and she said it was blue. So because it's blue and the cover of the book that we're both reading together on Unwind is the cover is blue. So technically I'm gonna be using that book to fulfill the third challenge which I know she's also doing for me because my favorite color is red and the book has red on the cover as well so it worked out really well for us in this case so now that you know we like she was saying she was really busy with like moving into a new place and just like general life getting in the way so obviously at the same time for me like I moved into a whole new apartment and had to unpack so combining the two challenges into one just made everything a little bit easier for both of us okay so the fourth challenge is to read a book that your buddy gave five stars and I was going through and Shelly, you have a lot of awesome stuff on your Goodreads. Like, I have not heard of a lot of the books, but they all seem really interesting. The one that stood out to me the most is the one called All the Light We Cannot See. And from what I can read on the back of this book, it's about a German boy and a blind French girl whose worlds collide when, during the time of World War II. That's literally from the back cover, yes, I did just quote it. Um, but it sounded really interesting, and I just love the idea of it, of these two people like these two kids who are caught up in this war that they really don't have anything to do with and both of them struggling to survive and you know day by day getting through these challenges and how they meet up and, and intertwine with each other's lives so it sounded really good and she gave it five stars so I'm choosing All the Light We Cannot See it's by Anthony DeWare and that's so that's the book I'm choosing for that challenge and no at the moment I do not have this book I'm actually planning to go out and get it tomorrow after my classes are done because I will have free time in the afternoon so that's when I'm gonna do that and the fifth and last challenge is to read a book just because you want to. And for that, I am going to be choosing The Princess Bride. Um, oof, there's a glare. The Princess Bride. Um, okay, I'm pretty sure that everyone has seen this movie. And if you haven't, please immediately stop watching this video and go and see the movie because it is so good. Just there's so many amazing things about the story. It is literally one of the best movies I've ever seen. It's one of my favorite movies. And when I found out, I don't know how I didn't know this was a book, but I I saw it in Barnes and Noble and I was like, I have to get this. It looks so good. I have already started reading this book. I love it so much. It's so funny. It's written exactly the way that it's portrayed in the movie, like the same sense of humor, which is great because it means that they stuck really close to it. From what I've read so far, they've actually stuck to a lot of the events pretty closely at least, as much as they can. I mean, this is a pretty thick book. Um, but yeah, I love this book so far. It's really good. So honestly, it's just, I'm so excited to read it. And so that's the book I'm choosing for the fifth challenge. Whew. All right, I had to keep 
pausing this so I can go through and remember what all the challenges were. I have also been lacking on doing my September TBR list. That's also kind of what this video is going to be. These four books are going to be the ones that I'm aiming to read for September. Obviously, I'm probably going to read more than that. And so obviously there's going to be hopefully be more books that I get to finish. And since everything is kind of starting up for me again, like work and all these new schedule conflicts, um, I'm hoping I'll be able to read more than that. If I do have time, I'm going to try and do another like to be continued September TBR list um, and just kind of see what other books I could add and what other ones I really want to read because I was able to go through the bunch of stuff that I had in storage and I found a bunch of other books that I forgot I had and I really really wanted to get to um, last year but I couldn't because I was super busy all the time so hopefully maybe this month before everything starts picking up again I will be able to read the books that I haven't been able to get my hands on yet. That's kind of all I've got for today's video. I It's actually getting kind of late here and this video is probably going to be up kind of late but my goal was to get it done today so at least I got that. Um, but yeah I've got to go finish unpacking and doing last minute stuff and getting all my life together now um, because it's September so back to school we go. This video is a mess. Shelly, this is what a mess looks like. It is my video. There we go. Um, anyway, all right, that's all I got guys. So wish me luck. Everybody who's doing the Book Buddy-a-thon have so much fun and make sure you post your videos because I'm definitely going to be checking them out. Good night to all of you going to bed slash happy afternoon slash day slash morning and I'm going to go because I'm running on like four hours of sleep. Okay, bye. This is literally my setup right now, guys. Like literally two books, an envelope holder, and some note cards with my phone.